Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be recapping kind of everything I've done in 2024 with all of my network infrastructure. And we're kind of going to talk about how I'm going to change it for next year. I already have some changes lined up. Um, I'm always constantly improving and updating and um, fixing things, whatever that means, I guess. Um, so this is kind of just a snapshot on where I am right now with the intention of growing and expanding it next year, of course. So um, let's actually kick it off. We're gonna go to one of my solar setups to start off with, and we're gonna work kind of backwards on that flow. So we'll check out the solar setups and we'll check out the other building. We'll check out my office, then the server room. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello and greetings from the first solar setup. This one is the main guy that does get the point to point link from the building that you'll see here soon. And inside of this box here, we've got a Unify Flex switch that has a PoE import from a uh, 12 volt to 56 volt adapter. And then I have a little device here that converts that kind of to a PoE signal. Uh, it just sends it to the right pins. It's from Tycoon Systems. It's a device. Uh, I got two charge controllers here. Got a little heater for the winter and the cold. Uh, and we got our battery here. This is a 100 amp hour battery. And this setup does keep going offline. The battery keeps dying. Um, but this is part of the fun. This is what I'm experimenting with learning how it all works and um, Yeah, so the setup does have four 100 watt solar panels so we can get a maximum of 400 watts input And uh, it's pretty rock-solid in the summer uh, when it's getting sunlight. I don't run for quite a while While we're out here. I did want to mention the point-to-point -point link and this thing is right here uh, It's a the Lightbeam 5 AC I believe um, and then actually I have a little box back here that has a little bit, a little uh, 24 volt passive switch in here. And that actually does send it through these wires down here to another spot. So this spot is trenched through ethernet under the ground and then it sends it back to the other setup, uh, which we're going to go check out now. I'm freezing, so I'm gonna keep this one quick. This is another point of presence I have out here network-wise. Uh, it's got a little bit of a switch in there, battery, two solar panels up there, and a camera to kind of face this back area. Let's move on to the last one. Okay, and this is the final setup right here. Uh, there's snow all over the panels, obviously. Uh, this one's actually not operational. It hasn't been this whole winter. I'm not sure why, honestly. I think I have a heater in there and the heater's taking too much power. Um, but this one does get a wireless signal through the nano station Loco 5AC right there um, from the other setup we just take a look, took a look at. Um, and this one does have a Unify Flex switch inside of it. Um, this one is pretty sweet, actually. Oh, crap. I'm not gonna open this one for you guys because there is some kind of berry uh, that has landed on there. Uh, if you do want to see inside of this one, I do have another video about this um, that I posted earlier this year when I made this. Um, so feel free to go check that one out. So let's go back inside. Let's take a look at the building that actually facilitates the networking for all of these um, network locations out here. So now that we've seen everything kind of out with the solar setups, I wanted to show you the next kind of stop in the network. Um, and this is the building that actually receives the point to point signal from the main primary point or solar area. So um, essentially, let me show you this. Okay, so as I was saying, this Microtik switch right here, and this does get a 10 gigabit per second fiber uplink to the primary aggregation switch back at the core of the network. You'll see that here soon. Um, we have a UPS battery here. That way, if there's a power blip, um, all of the security cameras stay on. So this switch does power the security cameras over PoE, and there's a 24 volt adapter for the point-to-point -point antenna. So that's kind of what this building does. There used to be a couple of servers up there, but I have since moved them to the data center because they'll be more reliable um, in terms of power and stuff there. Um, additionally, we do have a Unify AP AC light access point. This access point is just something old that I had laying around, and that is just um, covering this entire building with um, Wi-Fi connectivity. It is a terrible Wi-Fi signal, but it is better than nothing. So that's about all for this building. Let's go take a look at my office now. All right, so now that we've checked out kind of the stuff outside, uh, let's check out the stuff inside. So this is my desk, um, this is in my office, and I have a few cool um, devices in here that I do wanna show you. So to start off, I apologize for the mess. I'm in the middle of a bunch of projects, but if we take a look here, we have an American DJ PDU. We've got a Raspberry Pi, another Raspberry Pi. Those things kind of just do some um, low level services that aren't super um, required, but they just do some proxies and that kind of thing. We have a Microtik CRS310 
8G 2S IN switch right here. So essentially that just says that we have eight two and a half gig ports, two 10 gig ports on um, power right here. And there's one USB port. Next, I have a TrendNet 24 um, Keystone patch panel that I have a few things patched into, as well as some fiber connections. So this does also have a 10 gigabit per second fiber connection back to my core switch, which you will see very shortly. I've got a drawer, blank panel, etc. Around back here, we have um, a huge mess. But outside of the mess, we have something really cool. This is the Unify Mobile Router Ultra. This does get a cellular connection from T-Mobile. I have an unlimited plan, and that does bring in a second connection, pops it into that switch, comes out to the fiber through a VLAN, and that is how I get my secondary WAN here. So we have primary internet, which is fiber. I'll show you that in a second. And then we also have the backup internet from the WAN, or sorry, from the Mobile Router Ultra here as well. I do wanna mention, we also have a couple options for backup batteries. I have an EcoFlow and a Jackery right here that I can use in times of power outages to temporarily keep things powered. Um, everything here is on a UPS, but um, the length of the run times on those does vary quite a bit. So if there is something critical I'm doing, I'm able to grab a EcoFlow or that Jackery and have that temporarily run my stuff. So before we go into the server room, I do have that fiber cable coming in here. It comes all the way through and that cable uh, services that extra building I showed you earlier. And this is my MDF, also known as the server room. Uh, quite a bit of things going on here, but I'm going to break it down for you. So this is what you've all been waiting for. I could have cleaned this all up for the purposes of the video, but I wanted to show the um, setup as it is. I don't want to make it look all pretty and stuff when it's not normally all pretty. So this is the main rack. I believe it is a 26 U rack. Um, we also have some other hardware over there we'll take a look at in a second, but let me show you the rack. All right, so I apologize for the noise, but this is the primary rack that I have. We have a PDU to get power to everything. We have the core aggregation switch from Ubiquiti. It's got 10 gigabit connections to everything besides these two network switches. Next, we have the 24 port, 250 watt POE switch from Ubiquiti. Patch panel, trend net. Uh, a cable management device, another 24 port switch from Ubiquiti with PoE. This is a newer model, obviously. Uh, finally, we have the Dream Machine Pro that does all the routing, the network, as well as the firewall. Uh, and it does get that second connection from T-Mobile as well as the primary fiber connection from the fiber ISP. I have a one gigabyte, I have a one gigabit per second fiber connection and we have the DAT cable that goes up to the core switch. Next, we have the Proxmox server that does everything Proxmox that I locally host here. Um, all of my other Proxmox stuff is over at the data center now. We also have this Dell server that does all of my backups and does um, all of my bulk storage kind of related things. It's got about 80 or 90 terabytes, I think, and it's rock solid. Finally, I have the UNVR from Ubiquiti. It has about six terabytes of storage and that is purely for security cameras only. It records about 10-ish security cameras, give or take. I get about a month of recording time. Finally, at the bottom, we have two UPS units, one for network, one for servers. Finally, we have an extremely messy server room, uh, but I do have a U6 Plus access point up there that does the Wi-Fi for this side of the building. Um, and one other thing I want to mention is the uh, 3D printer that I have. I've been using this a lot more lately. It is a Elegoo Neptune um, 4 uh, Pro printer. Um, obviously, there's some messed up um, print here on the bed, but um, it is a rock solid printer. I really love the printer. So this video is very sporadic, but I really hope you enjoyed it and you found some value out of all the stuff that I was showing you. Uh, this setup is extremely overkill. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't even mention um, such as this Unify Cloud Gateway Max right here. Um, fun stuff happening around here, always something new. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I will do my best to answer your question. Um, but yeah, that is, that's pretty much it for this year, this video. Um, and this wraps it up. This is the last video I'll post this year. So thank you for watching um, this year. Um, I appreciate the growth the channel has had and I'm excited for what is to come next year. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great new year. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next year.